I've got another strict, very, very strict, timely warning. Something that would definitely take place. <sighs> My God. The Lord is speaking about a multitude of people that are going to come falling down and be destroyed because of this thing that I'm about to just warn you of. I want to just quickly read because I love to go to the word to make sure that I have the backing and I want to give you understanding as well. First Corinthians 10, 7 to 11 says this. It says, do not be idolaters as some of them were, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and stood up to play. Nor let us act immorally. Nor let us act immorally. As some of them did and 23,000 fell in one day nor let us try the Lord this word is a little bit connected to the, to the last one in but the Lord is speaking is, is, is focusing here on warning people that have chosen to live an immoral kind of life and you know what the Lord is talking about because even right now the Holy Spirit is giving you a conviction heed the warning God hates these things. Let me keep reading. It says, as some of them did. And, and then it says, as 20, 23,000 fell in one day. Nor let us try the Lord. Nor let us try the Lord. You know what is wrong. You stay away from what is wrong. You struggle to stay away from what is wrong. You ask the Holy Spirit to help you if you're a child of God. If you're not born again and you're hearing me for the first time, Jesus can save you. Jesus can help you. Jesus can deliver you, child of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Nor let us try the Lord as some of them did and were destroyed by the serpents. And then it goes on to say, it says, no grumble. F first thing here was words, immorality. Hallelujah. Then it says, the second thing is, do not grumble. It says that some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as an example and they were written for our instruction upon whom the ends of the age have come. God is speaking about two things here. This strict warning, this very, very important warning is speaking about two things here. Well, actually three. So first it's talking about idolaters. The next one, then it, then it begins to focus more on immorality. There are so many kinds of immorality, but the word of God is, is really speaking specifically here. The Lord is saying he is, he's talking about sexual immorality. And you know what's even more annoying is that there are people that know that these things are wrong in the body of Christ and outside as well. They know that these things are wrong, but then they still participate. But then they still do it for their own selfish reason. I tell you that nothing more than pride like kills faster. My carabado shake a little Immorality. And then it also speaks lastly about grumbling. What is it to grumble? To complain. To complain. Constantly complaining, constantly complaining and not ever having an attitude of gratitude or being thankful. Let's put it in simpler terms. And the Lord is warning us. And the Lord is saying that 23,000 fell in one day because of all of these things. And the Lord is warning us. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit. The Lord is warning us that now we need to be warned about this thing so that we don't become victims there's many people that live a worldly life, that live an immoral lifestyle, that are idolaters. Serving idols, serving what they shouldn't be serving. Doing what they shouldn't be doing with their bodies or with other things in their lives. And complainers and grumblers. They, they you know, speak whatever they want to speak about anything and everything at any given time. Whatever they feel like saying, they say they complain, they grumble, they everything. And the Lord is giving the warning. And what the Lord, you know, said to the people of Israel back in the days, he's speaking to us now as well. Because he's saying now that, that, you know, what happened to them was an example for us. So it's a warning for us today. It's a strict warning for us today. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a timely warning because it's happening now. It's happening now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
I remember when um, the LGBT thingy was um, officially, you know, um, established. I think somewhere, I, I don't know what country it was, um, it, it was that happened. Um, I heard the news about um, a club that, you know, chose to celebrate the official, you know, you know, rolling out of this whole uh, campaign and um, the law was already you know put out in the country that you know they can do this and in the club I heard well, well I actually saw that you know this club caught fire the night of the celebration when the Lord says when the Lord gives a warning about something and people don't choose to take heed he's coming down quickly with his wrath He's coming down quickly with his anger. He's coming down quickly with judgment. That's what many people don't know. I'll try and find the link to that news and put it up there. The LGBT club caught fire as they were celebrating this thing. Lord, help us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I pray once again that you will help us in this time, Heavenly Father. Every kind of spirit of idolatry, immorality, grumbling, complaining, whatever it is, Heavenly Father, oh Lord, take it away, Lord, from us. Take it away from everyone, Lord, that's listening right now as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And have mercy, Lord, upon your people, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Be blessed.